Hello, I'm Mira. Today, we breathe and just move. Breathing is the most important thing that we do. It affects our mood, energy, even our athletic performance. We are going to learn how to do the diaphragmatic breathing properly. Most people do not know how to breathe properly and do not take advantage of something as simple as inhaling and exhaling through the nose. A quote from Joseph Pilates, Breathing is the first act of life and the last. You will need a long scarf or a Pilates band for, if this is accessible to you for this class. So let's begin and let's go to our mat. We're going to find ourselves sitting. Just bring the scarf or the band next to you. Have a sit. You may sit on the floor or the mat. You may even prop yourself with a little cushion. I just want you to find a comfortable sit. You may even choose to sit on a chair. Sitting upright. So the diaphragmatic breathing, it stimulates our parasympathetic nervous system, introducing a sense, introducing a sense of relaxation to our body. So let's go and find our sit. I'd like you to sit upright, nice and tall. If you're sitting on a chair, make sure that you don't lean to the back of the chair. Sit on your sitting bones. Align your diaphragm of the pelvis, the diaphragm of the rib cage, and the diaphragm of the throat. Just make sure there's no kink somewhere in between them. Take a moment to arrive. And we'll start, we'll begin by just listening to your breath. When you inhale, and when you exhale. I'll be combining a technique that I learned from yoga, as well as my Pilates to take ourselves how to learn or how to deep, how to dive deep into our diaphragmatic breathing. And we'll begin to deliberately take an inhalation and deliberately exhale through the mouth. Just listening to the sound of your breath. You may take your gaze a little dimmer, softening the eyelid. As you bring your attention inward to your breath. It's nothing fancy, just breathing in and breathing out. Come to this Pilates practice with an open mind, an open heart. Just forget what you know about Pilates. And allow your body to be willing to see what happens, to unfold what may happen in the next 30 days. Still breathing through the nose, still breathing out through the mouth. I'll be your teacher. I'll be here with you for the next 30 days. Making your breath a little bit more deliberate. Maybe take a time to ask yourself, what's your intention for the next 30 days? Maybe you do not have one yet, or you do not have one at all. And that's exciting. Come with an open mind and open heart. And allow yourself 
to immerse in the journey that you're going to take with me in the next 30 days. Now we're going to place one hand on your chest and another hand on the belly. And then just allow the breath into your hands and observe what's happening to your body or to your belly and to your chest as you breathe in and as you breathe out. And immediately scan your body and see if there's any tension around your body while you're breathing here. Maybe to your jaw, move the jaw around. Maybe around your forehead, around your cheek, around the shoulder, your elbows, your hips, your toes. Have a little quick wriggle as you breathe here and invite a sense of softening with your breath through the joints. We're going to take 12 counts of inhalation through the nose and 12 counts of exhalation through the mouth as we take ourselves into the journey in search of your diaphragmatic breathing. We inhale six count onto the belly, six count followed by four counts middle of the chest, and inhale two counts in the top of the chest. I repeat that again. We start with six count around the belly as we inhale, four counts middle of the chest, two counts top of the chest. And as we exhale for another 12 counts, we begin with the top of the chest for four counts. Middle of the chest, four counts, and lower belly, four counts. And we begin now, inhaling for six, five, four, three, two, one, and four, two, three, two, one, and one, two. We exhale, four counts at the top, one, two, three, four, middle chest, one, two, three, four, belly, one, two, three, four. We inhale into the belly, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, middle chest, four, four, one, two, three, four, upper chest, four, two, one, two. We exhale from the top, four counts, one, two, three, four, middle chest, four, one, two, three, four, belly for four, one, two, three, four. And I will go with you. We inhale, six count to the belly. Middle chest for four, upper chest for two. We exhale from the top of the chest, four counts. Middle four, belly four. Repeat six count from the belly. Middle chest four, upper chest four, two, excuse me. As we breathe out, exhale, four counts on the top of the chest, four counts middle of the chest, and four counts to the belly. Inhale, six counts in the belly. Middle chest four. Upper chest two. We exhale, upper chest four. Middle chest four. Belly four. And in breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale.
And as you breathe, just allow how your body expand and deflate into your hands and out of your hands. We do one more time. And just let it go. Well then, I'd like you to take your hands in front of you. And as you breathe out, so take an inhalation. Now as you breathe out, you want to blow the air into your hand. Blowing a warm air into your hand. You can, use a, you can also use the imagery of blowing your breath into a glass, a window. So you're deliberately taking your air out or pushing your air out of your body. All right, now it's time to grab your scarf or your pen. If that's available for you today, I'm gonna to use the pen today. We're going to combine all that breathing movement and one go. I'd like you to wrap your scalp or your band around the lower rib cage. Right here. Still having that upright long spine alignment. Now we're going to combine all the inhalation without breaking down from the belly, from the chest, from the upper chest. I'd like you to just inhale all the air that you take, I'd like you to focus on allowing the middle, the rib cage, lower rib cage, to expand into the scarf or into the, the band. And then as you exhale, allowing the belly to deflate, allowing the rib cage to deflate, allowing the, the top chest to deflate. So we're going to inhale for about five counts. And then we're going to hold at the top. And we're going to exhale for 15 counts. Shall we? Inhaling through the nose. Into the ribcage for one, two, three, four. Exhale for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Inhale for five. One, two, three, four, five. We hold. Then we exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to do it with you. Inhale, hold, exhale, in breath. Perhaps you won't be able to, perhaps you can't reach 15 counts today in the exhalation. Choose breathe that as much as you can. And just explore how much expansion can you get into the ribcage. The numbers is just a guidance for you. I'd like you to just take an inhale as much as you can and exhale as much as you can. Oh, exhale. Let's do one more time. And let it go. The breathing is something that we're going to continuously practice 
really explore how much air can you really expand the diaphragm, expand the rib cage, and how much air can you let out. And now let's move to the second part very quickly. We're going to just move. If you are sitting on a cushion, you can put the cushion away for a second. If you're sitting on the chair, come onto the mat. And I want you to just switch the leg that you've just crossed before and just move with me. The idea here is to just get the body to be free, to let loose and move listening to your breath. Maybe you want to use the breath. I think you should use the breath. No, maybe. Use your breath. Move around, sway your body left and right. Just get the blood flowing. Be free. Maybe you want to sing as you move. You know, I have this moment called my hairbrush moment. I'm going to grab the hairbrush and start moving or humming. Or you trying to get ready to go out. So pick up a music, a song in your head that you can take yourself into that hairbrush moment. When I was growing up, I you love that song by Whitney Houston. Just want to dance with somebody. Maybe you can relate to me. So I'm just going to hum as I go. And I'm not going to guide you into what we're going to do next. Just follow through. If that movement takes you to something else, then be free. No one's watching just you and me in this room. So I'm going to take my hairbrush moment. I'm going to hum my Whitney Houston, you know that song? Just want to dance with somebody. So you can just, whatever music you have in your head, hum it away. And we're going to take the movement to something else. I don't know, maybe it's going to be different from what I have now, okay? I just want you to move. Bit of shoulder. Just let loose. You can move the shoulder any way you like. Maybe you can take your arms around. Whatever it is, just go with the flow. This is where we begin to flow. It's no hard rules, just move it. This is not your typical Pilates class. This is just for you to get your body to move and your blood to flow, whatever it takes. A bit of neck roll. The other way, maybe. Close your eyes if you want to. Sway left and right. A bit of ribcage movement, forward. Take it into some circular movement. Again, you don't have to move. That's what I'm doing. You can take yourself into something else. And around. Just really want you to move today. And tomorrow we go into some technical terms a technical tech pilates technical movement okay today you're just going to be free and around okay now let's take ourselves very quickly to the ground All right so just roll this up to the ground and i want you to stretch away you still have that music in your head hum away if you want to breathe away whatever it is make yourself a big starfish and I want you to just come pull it in. You can lift your head up or just keep your head down on the floor and then push away, reach it up. Stretch away and pull it in. And then stretch away and then pull it in. And reach out away and then pull it in. And legs and arms to the air and circle around, shake it out. Just move. Nobody's watching. It's just you and me on the floor doing crazy stuff that is not Pilates. Wriggle, move. And bring it down to the floor. And maybe still wriggling on the floor. And slowly bring it to a stillness. 
Maybe you want to turn yourself left and right. Doesn't matter what you do. I just want you to move. Yeah, okay. And then slowly bring that to a stillness. Bring the feet, whatever they are. And just take a moment, inhale again, into the nose, into the ribcage. Exhale. Out through the mouth, make it deliberate, make it loud, make it big, in breath. Exhale. And we clap. Excellent. Thank you for being here. Thank you for moving with me, singing with me, breathing with me. I will see you tomorrow on a mat again. Today, you go away and practice that diaphragmatic breathing. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.